Hello and welcome to REM 280, Introduction to Wildland Restoration. My name is Charles Gable and I'm a professor in the Department of Forest, Rangeland, and Fire Sciences at the University of Idaho. I'll be the instructor for this course and I'm looking forward to sharing with you my interest and passion for ecosystem restoration this spring. This course will be delivered online using the University of Idaho's Blackboard website or BB Learn. What I want to do in this video is provide you with a brief introduction to the course and some of the assessment we will be conducting as part of the course. So what is this course all about? This course is not designed to provide you with a recipe book of how to address specific restoration projects or issues. Rather, it is designed to provide you with an introductory background on the principles and tools that can be employed as part of any restoration project. Specifically, we will explore and provide some background on the ecological, social, and economic aspects of wildland and ecological restoration, and we'll use real-world examples to help demonstrate these principles and techniques. We will also explore approaches and philosophies towards restoring and rehabilitating ecosystems that have been impacted and damaged through natural and human-caused factors. These could include things like wildfire, conversion to agriculture and other forms of development, grazing, and invasive species. So the specific objectives of this course are to introduce you to the science of wildland and ecological restoration and really focus on both the underlying ecological principles as well as the tools and techniques that you would use as a restoration professional. We'll also provide some background on the physical and biological characteristics and environmental conditions that drive ecological forces on rangelands and forests. This type of information is critical if you're actually going to understand and design a restoration plan to restore the structure and function of these important ecosystems. Third, we'll explore approaches, practices, and outcomes of wildland restoration activities uh, in field situations and through research. So we'll be focused both on case studies as well as some of the science that is the foundation for ecological restoration. And finally, we will work to improve your critical thinking, reading, and writing skills. So upon completion of this course, you should be prepared to understand and be able to apply ecological principles that form the foundation of wildland and ecological restoration. You should be familiar with the biological, chemical, and mechanical methods, including the use of fire, to achieve specific restoration and rehabilitation goals. You should be prepared to assess the site potential relative to potential vegetation changes with and without management within a restoration context. And you should appreciate the interdisciplinary nature of wildland and ecological restoration. And it's this last point that I think I really want to drive home here today and we'll be coming back to across the semester. Um, as a restoration professional, you will need to be well versed in a variety of topics and disciplines. We will cover more about this in the coming weeks. But looking at issues from an interdis interdisciplinary perspective is going to be critical if you're going to be a successful um, professional that is focused on restoring both rangeland and forest ecosystems. So let's look a little bit about the course schedule and how we'll organize things this spring. So starting next week, um, we will start the first part of the course. This first part will focus on setting the stage. We will explore some basic principles associated with ecological restoration look at why we might and should be interested in restoring disturbed ecosystems, and then dive into the process of restoration, which includes both a focus on adaptive management, understanding the past history of a site we want to restore, and the importance of working with people to accomplish our restoration goals. In part two, we will take that information and examine different tools and techniques that can be used by restoration professionals to restore the composition, structure, and function of disturbed or damaged ecosystems. 
This includes a variety of techniques that can, can be applied to both rangeland and forest ecosystems, such as biological controls, mechanical controls, herbicides, and the use of fire. You will also see on the schedule that there are several different types of assessment tools we will use to determine your understanding and comprehension of the material. Over the semester, we will have 12 short weekly quizzes that will review the material presented in the video lectures, short readings, and other materials such as YouTube videos that will be posted on each topic within the BB Learn website. Each quiz will be 10 points total, and I will only count the 10 highest scored quizzes that will constitute 40% of your final grade for the course, dropping the two lowest quiz scores. So you can see it's important to watch and read the material provided on Blackboard or BB Learn each week and to stay on top of the material. We will also have two multiple choice and short answer exams that will cover the material in each section. These exams will only cover the material that was presented prior to each exam. These exams will be 100 points and will represent a total of 20% of your final grade. These exams will also be delivered and taken on BB Learn. We'll also have a final exam that will be cumulative and will be more of a short answer and essay style exam also delivered on BB Learn. The final exam will be worth 100 points and will constitute 20% of your final grade. And finally you'll see in the final week of the semester, we will have case study presentations, or what I would more accurately call a video essay. The goal of these video essays will be to apply concepts covered throughout the semester by presenting a case study or studies of an ecosystem restoration activity. Each of you will be assigned to a group of three to four students and will be expected to work together developing a presentation that you will record and post to BB Learn. Case study presentations can address any ecosystem of interest and should describe a land management problem for the specific ecosystem, goals and objectives of the restoration project, any environmental issues or concerns associated with the restoration project, the treatments, application, and expected outcomes. Additionally, each group should highlight the funding sources for the restoration project. Each of these presentations should take 15 to 10 to 15 minutes and will be graded by your fellow classmates as well as myself. These will be due on April 30th and evaluations completed by the Friday of the final week of that of class. So hopefully this provides you with an idea of what I hope to cover with you this spring in this course. We will explore these concepts and techniques in both rangeland and forest ecosystems, and over the semester I hope to engage all of you in online discussions about these topics we are discussing related to both the principles as well as some of the tools and techniques that restoration professionals use in their daily work.